次。What's up, guys? What's up, girls? What's up, everybody? It's your,、uh, it's your pal, your bro, your homie, your confidant, your,、um, your concubine, if you want. I mean, I'm taking offers if anyone、uh, wants to. It's your boy. It's your man. It's, it's Max. It's me. It's me. It's Max. It's Max. You know who it is. You know what we're here to do. We're here for another tutorial. <laughs> So, today、uh, I wanted to record a new trooper template tutorial for you guys、uh, for a couple of reasons. First of all, the older tutorial is、uh, it, it, it's old, it aged a bit, and also I recorded this tutorial using Sketchbook, which is、uh, discontinued. So, I wanted to give a, a, a little update, a little refresh on this tutorial for you. And、uh, I also happen to have discovered a new program.、Uh, well, it's not new, but for me it is.、Uh, it's called Photopea. Basically, a free alternative to Photoshop. It's a web based program, so you don't have to download it. You just、uh, type in、uh, photopea.com. So, this program works on desktop, but it also works on mobile, which means You guys will finally have access to the PSDs and、uh, all the layers and all, everything, even on mobile. So, with this tutorial, you should be able to edit my templates anywhere desktop, Windows, Apple, phone, tablet, a washing machine, a goddamn microwave, calculator, I don't care, car radio. Uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna go through the templates, show you、uh, a bit how everything works for those who are new, and to refresh the memory of those、uh, who have been using the templates for a while. I'm gonna do the tutorial on desktop, but after that, we're gonna give a, a quick look to the, the templates and Photopea, what it looks like on mobile. But、uh, yeah, enough chit chat. I'd say、uh, let's get to it right now. <laughs> So, before doing anything,、uh, we're gonna have to download the templates first. So, I'm gonna just show you quickly where to get them. If you go to my、uh, profile on Instagram, you'll have a link,、uh, a link tree a link right here.、Uh, the link is gonna be also in the,、uh, the video description. So, you just follow that link, and the first,、uh, the first one you're gonna see on top is gonna be the, the templates. It's gonna direct you. To、uh, the Dropbox folder.、Uh, so, going right there, you have、uh, all the different franchises and、um, different universes or real stuff that I touched with the templates. And you have a background one too.、Uh, I'll get to this one a, a bit later. We're gonna start with the、uh, Star Wars templates, of course. So, once you go in one of the folders, you have all the different、uh, formats. We're gonna use the PSDs for this tutorial. So,、uh, I'm not gonna download them because, of course, I already have them on my computer. But you're gonna just、uh, select one and download it. It's a zip,、uh, zip archive, so you're gonna need、uh, something to extract it, like、uh, WinRAR, like paid WinRAR. And I'm still mad because I still get pop ups telling me to buy WinRAR. I thought I did the right thing by buying WinRAR. I wanna do like a A big,、uh, big Chad move by buying it actually, supporting it. But I keep getting. Did my account not work? I don't know. But anyway,、uh, once you've got them extracted,、uh, you're gonna open Photopea. You just type photopea.com on in the interwebs, and it's gonna give you this beautiful window, which is, which is Photopea. It's also available as a, a shortcut directly. So you just.、Uh, I have it on my desktop right here, so if you click, it's just gonna open you a window like that. But it's web based, so you don't need to download anything, it's, it's, it's,、uh, it's on the internet. I know the PSD templates here s e e m s very tempting, but it's not what we're looking for right now. From here, you're gonna go to open from a computer. We're gonna start with the basic clone trooper because. Uh, my template in all its glory in Photopea. 
So as you can see, the, the UI and the functionalities are very, very, very similar to Photoshop. So if you have any experience with Photoshop at all, you will be very, uh, it, it's gonna be very familiar. So as you can see here, you can see all the layers and folders that are on your right. We're gonna give them all a quick look to see what's, uh, what's in the, the template. Uh, we're gonna start with the uh, text folder that you can see right here. Let's open it up. Okay, so in the text folder, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you have all the text. This one here is the, uh, the text underneath, text on top, and you got the text line. So if you want to do your own text, you have the, the approximate lines of where I put mine. So you can do something relatively similar. And you have the, the, the little tag here, but I better not see anyone remove that tag. Quick information, uh, the, the font I use for the Star Wars template is, uh, the, the top one is Gotham Medium and the bottom one is Orebesh. So you can find both these fonts on thefont.com which is a website uh, that has tons of free font available to download if it's your kind of thing. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the text folder. Uh, underneath we got the accessories folder. Uh, we're gonna come back to it later because it's uh, pretty damn huge and I just I'm just gonna show you the basics first and then we're gonna move on to the the, the, the accessories. So underneath we have the outlines. It's a black outline basically. Uh, most of the time you shouldn't have to touch that one except if you want to make your own custom troopers and you have to change some things in the uh, in the outlines. But if that's the case, I would recommend uh, my other video tutorials on how to make custom troopers, which will be linked in the description, of course. Next up, uh, right underneath, we've got the main colors. Uh, that's basically the undersuit and the little details of the mouth and uh, stuff like that. The colors that usually shouldn't have to change from one trooper to another. Let's remove it just to see. Of course, if you want to mess around a bit with the undersuit, you can do that. Uh, let's just do a quick example. Let's say you want a light gray undersuit. Alright, so as you can see here, you got a beautiful clone trooper with a white uh, light gray undersuit. Underneath that layer, we got the markings folder. I have included a couple markings in this. And you also got some uh, uh, weathering layers uh, right there if you want to make your troopers a bit more battle-worn. Once again, I recommend my other video tutorial on how to make some uh, custom uh, weathering on your troopers. It's gonna be linked in the description as well, of course. This is where you're gonna draw your custom colors for your trooper. So you're gonna add the layer in here, right there. And you're gonna use the the uh, brush tool yeah this uh, this looks good and this is where you're gonna be able to put your colors so as you can see since this folder here is under the main colors and the outlines when you draw on this layer it's not gonna overlap the uh, the other stuff so this way you can draw your markings and it's it's very clean as you can see it stays uh, really uh, really clean we're gonna move on to the folder, the, the layer, sorry, right underneath, which is the, the base color. So this is the, the white overall. Uh, once again, you can change the, the color of this one using the uh, bucket fill tool. Let's say you want a dark gray clone trooper, elite squad, let's say. Well, you're just gonna use the bucket tool and fill it in. And as you see, very simple, very easy. Here you go, you got the... Hold on. All right. Custom Black Series, uh, Inaccurate Elite Squad Trooper. So uh, that's it for the uh, this one, the sketches layer, we don't really care about this one. Yeah. Oh, oh my shit. god! It Underneath, you got the background uh, layer, a uh, little thing to, uh, uh, to notice, I said I would come back to it earlier. If you go in my Dropbox, you have the backgrounds zip archive, so this is a... Uh, all the different backgrounds I have available. So if you want to use one, what you're gonna do is you go to File, Open, 
and then you're gonna you're gonna start uh, browsing browsing around in this. So let's say I'm gonna use uh, Mustafa. So here we go. Open. So you do Control A, Control C, and then you move to your clone uh, template, and you do Control V. There you go. You just copy and paste it, the background here. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So now we're gonna go to the last folder we haven't checked yet. Last but not least, which is the accessories folder. It's where you're gonna have all the equipments like pauldrons, cameras, uh, the gear and stuff. All right, no, it's not that bad, but you know, it's still pretty big. So in, in this mess of a thing of a folder, you have multiple other folders. And then in these folders, you have more folders. So what, what, the, what the hell is going on? What the hell is going on? Chill the fuck out a bit, okay? We're gonna start off first with basically uh, everything is invisible right now. So you just gotta click on the icon to put it visible, uh, whatever you want. Let's say I want to put the uh, shoulder antenna. There you go. It's uh, It just appears like that. It's magic like that. Uh, we're gonna open the folder to see what, uh, what it looks like inside. Uh, it's pretty similar to the uh, basic template itself. You've got one layer with the outlines and one layer with the colors. Pretty much every accessory works the same way. If we open the antenna shoulder, you see uh, outlines and colors. But there are some red folders, like I said. These folders are basically a category of accessories. So there are multiple accessories in this category itself. So let's say I'm gonna open the pauldrons. You can see now it's the arc pauldron. Let's open the folder. You have the arc pauldron, you have the Clone Wars type uh, pauldron that Captain Rex wears, and you have the basic uh, movie, uh, movie like pauldron. So, as you can see, you have multiple different accessories in one single folder, and the accessories once again work the same way as, uh, as all the others. So, you got the layer, and this here, and that here. You've got plenty of stuff to customize your templates however you want. Actually, I think it's pretty much all there is to know for a single template. Uh, now I'm just gonna open a few more, just to show you that basically every template works uh, the exact same way as, uh, as this. The, the structure is the same for every template, so uh, let's close these bad boys and open from computer once again. Here it is, beautiful buffet head. Alright, so once again, text folder, accessories folder with plenty of different gear and gizmos and stuff like that so you got plenty of choice so let's go as an example into the well let's go into the military So we got the Navy SEAL Commando right there, right here and now. So let's just do a, take a quick look. A text exactly the same as usual. Uh, the accessories, outlines, markings, main color, base color. We go for the Lego template. As you can see, text, accessories, and uh, outlines, markings and stuff like that. So every single template works pretty much the same way. Uh, now we're gonna just go take a quick look at the templates on mobile. Are you fucking kidding me? I keep dying here! Uh, here it goes. So first thing you're gonna do is uh, you're gonna download the templates, of course. Uh, you're gonna go select the uh, PSD files. So export and save to device. Alright, once that is downloaded, you're gonna go to your files and you're gonna go to uh, download. In downloads, you'll find the PSD zip and you're just gonna extract it. Alright, now that it's extracted, it looks pretty much the same way as on desktop. So, uh, once that's done, you're gonna go to your uh, web browser and you're gonna type in photopea.com. Here's photopea, what it looks like on mobile. So as you can see, pretty similar. You're gonna open from computer, go to your files, and then you're gonna go to your downloads. 
and you're gonna select your PSD folder and go. So here you go. Looks pretty much the same as on desktop. As you can see, the UI is uh, pretty much the same, same tools and stuff. Here are the layers and folders. As you can see, it looks exactly the same as the desktop version. And that's done. If we hide the layers, you'll see that the pull drum popped up just the same way as on the desktop. You can add your layer here, just like on the uh, desktop. And this is where you're gonna go start to draw in the same thing as on desktop, basically. And once you're done with your amazing creation, uh, I'm gonna show you how you can export it. So you're gonna go to File, and you're gonna uh, export as, and export as a PNG. And then you have all the settings there, you do save, and it's gonna download your uh, your export and there you go you have the image so yeah that's pretty much it actually for the um the mobile version oh, are you kidding me i keep dying here. there's psd and you got png and tif as well uh just to show you the tif once again text accessories with red and transparent outlines na 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 etc etc same thing and uh, last, uh, we got the PNGs. If you wanna just uh, screw around and you don't really wanna use uh, more complicated files like the PSDs or TIF, you can just use the PNGs. So, as you can see, it's just one single layer. So, uh, if you try the color and stuff, there's gonna be some overlap. If you don't have a lot of space on your device or something like that, uh, it's the go-to file. So, yeah. That's, uh, that's pretty much it for what you can find in the templates. This template is constantly changing and evolving. I'm always updating uh, the existing templates and I'm always adding new templates. So if you are a traveler from the future and are watching this video like uh, two, three months after I posted it, uh, it's very possible the templates may not look exactly the same as in this video, uh, but I'm making uh, I'm making sure every time that the whole structure of it stays the same so even if there are some subtle differences we're gonna be able to follow the tutorial. Just want to mention that I have a lot of other uh, websites if you want to check them out just throwing that around. Small disclaimer before I end the video I just wanted to talk about the uh, proper crediting. Every single hour I've spent uh, working on these templates have been in the hours that I enjoyed but I still spent a lot of time on them and I am giving them away for free I would ask you to please uh, credit me if you are using the templates in any way and um, if you want to make your custom accessory or whatever see you're having fun with the templates and you're making some modifications you want to give them away uh, go ahead you can make your own custom accessories back if you want but please credit me for the original template that's all i'm asking in return for this uh gift i uh, bestow upon you yeah well i think that's pretty much it uh, i think i just gave you everything you needed to know now go ahead and make something make me proud uh very good uh, end of day and I'll see you again in probably five or six months when I finally decide to uh, start making another video. Ciao, bye, man.